Hello everyone, in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can make fast and easy animating captions just like you see right now, inside of Premiere Pro. Okay, let's get started. This tool that can animate your captions word by word is called Intersubs. It's a plugin that you can use directly in Premiere Pro. It's essentially designed for social videos, such as Instagram Reels, YouTube Shorts, or TikTok. But it also works well if you're creating a standard 16 by 9 video. So, creating subtitles with Intersubs consists of of three stages, preparing an SRT file, generating subtitles, and editing customizing them. I have already prepared a lot of SRT files for tests, so it's easier for me to start, but I'll still tell you how it's done, because there is a fundamentally important point there. Before we start working with intersubs, we need to prepare an SRT file with word-by-word -word timing. How to do this? It's quite simple using the built-in feature in Premiere Pro. To do this, we need to create a transcript, then create captions from it with specific settings, and then export the finished captions to an .srt file. Go to Window, open the text panel, and click on Create Transcription. After a short wait, you'll have a ready-made transcript. At this stage, I recommend reviewing the transcript to ensure there are no typos. It's much easier to fix small errors at this point, which will speed up the subtitle creation process later. Next, we need to generate captions from the completed transcript. In Text Transcript tab, Hit the CC, create captions. After window opened it important to get word by word timings, we need to make the following settings. Drag these two sliders indicated by the orange arrows to minimum and move radio button underlines to single. If you don't see these settings, be sure to open the preferences drop down list. This will generate a track with the word by word captions, after which you can export them to an .srt file. And original track with subtitles can be deleted, we will no longer need it. Now that we have an SRT file with word-by-word -word timings, we can move on to intersubs. Go to the Create tab to generate our subtitles. Here we have two main fields, one for the SRT file and one for the Mogra template. Currently, intersubs comes with six free Mogra templates, each with its own unique style. For example, I will simply choose the template tagged for BB2. While you can view the rest in the Mogra gallery, the link to which I will leave in the video description. So, after we drag everything where it needs to go, click on Create and voila! our subtitles are added to the timeline. Please note that we can customize where exactly the subtitles will be added using the corresponding settings under the Create button, and also adjust the grouping mechanism. Now that our subtitles have been added to the timeline, we can check how they were generated and quickly make any necessary edits. As you can see, everything was generated perfectly, except for a few moments. The grouping algorithm doesn't always work at 100%, and in some instances, the subtitles may not seem very logical. Not to worry, this can easily be corrected using the editing panel. There are several tools here for quick phrase work, left and right to move the outermost words from one group to another, as well as join and split to combine and separate them. They are quite intuitive. Just highlight the word and click the button. For example, I will make a couple of corrections now to make my subtitles look better. Just remember, for the Join Selected tool, you need to clearly select the first and last word to avoid mistakes. If there are too many moments that need editing, you can simply regenerate the subtitles, trying to slightly adjust the grouping algorithm on the Create tab. However, I don't recommend changing these settings unless absolutely necessary, as they significantly impact the final result and potential need for edits. Done. Now that we have generated and edited subtitles, it's time to customize them a bit. To do this, we need to go to the Essential Graphics panel, select the Edit tab, and then choose any subtitle. If you don't see this panel, select Window, then Essential Graphics, and then the Edit tab. There are plenty of settings here that allow us to adjust the appearance of our subtitles. For example, right now, I will change the background color and text color of the current word to red. However, you may notice that these settings only apply to the one, currently selected, subtitle. To apply them to all others, you need to copy the style using the Editing panel and then paste it onto all the other subtitles after selecting them. This way, all customization settings will be applied to the rest of the clips as well. The same applies to the position scale rotation settings. We need to adjust them first to look how we want them, and then we can use the copy-paste tool for position scale rotation in the editing panel. Done. Now our subtitles are customized, synchronized, and correctly positioned. So, this way you can quickly and easily create animated captions on your videos, quickly edit them, and get them ready for rendering instantly. I hope this video was useful for you. If so, don't forget to like. See you in the next video.